Okay, fifth graders, chapter four, section three. Uh, I'm not here today, so you guys are watching this on your own. I don't know if she's going to show this whole class, in other words, display it on the front screen, or if you guys have to watch it individually um, on your Chromebooks, but um, either way will work. So um, let's see here. This is really the same thing we've been doing, but now they're talking about modeling. And, um, and they tell you what the models represent. So, whoops, didn't mean to bump that. So, yeah, still recording, good. Okay, so um, you can see that um, all these represent one, as in the whole number one, and a row of 10 would represent one tenth, that's in the tenths place, and then just a single one, single block, would represent one one hundredth. Because if you think about it, that little single block is equivalent to just one out of a hundred. All right. So um, I don't have blocks for you guys. Uh, and so we really can't do any modeling. Uh, but if it helps you to think about it in those terms, then that's great. So um, look at example B here. It says multiplying four times 0.36 is like combining four groups, each containing 0.36 or 36 blocks. And so here they've done that. They've got a, here's, here's 10, here's 20, here's 30, and 36. Here's another 10, 20, 30, and 6. 10, 20, 36. 10, 20, 30, and actually this would be 5 plus one more, 6. And then you can see that they combine them all into this package right there and so if you were to add up all these blocks you'd come up with 1.44 well actually if you counted each individual box it'd be 144 but for our purposes it would be 1.44 all right um, so the convince me, let's take a look at this here. It says, uh, Bari, that's kind of an unusual name, Bari, um, if I'm pronouncing that right, made a train with five cars that are each 1.27 meters long. What's the total length of the train? Okay, well, you could use blocks, think about those terms. Another way to look at it is five cars and each car is 1.27. Well, here's one car, 1.27. Here's an, oops, another car, 1.27, a third car, 1.27, a fourth car, 1.27, and a fifth car, one point, whoops, that's five, because I said five, or I said fifth, actually, 1.27. Oh, and that one looks like a four. Okay, I'm going too fast here. i got to slow down. And I've had coffee today, and this is in the afternoon, actually, I'm doing this, so I'm, um, I'm good. It's okay. No worries. So, if you needed it, um figure out what the total would be. Here's another way to look at it. Now, uh, you could just do 1.27 times five, okay? And we talked about that today and, and did the other day, but here's another way just to look at it. So, um, all the ones, they equal five. Let's just kind of set those aside, okay? So now we're just dealing with 27, right? 27 times five. That's another way to look at it. Five times seven is 35. Put down the five, carry the three. Five times two is 10 plus three is 13. How many decimals do we need to count over? One, two, one, two. So it's 1.35. So I'm going to I'm going to write that down 1.35. Now I'm going to come over here. I'm going to put 1.35. And I need to add cuz we didn't factor that in yet 5. Where does the 5 go? That's 5 holes, 5 ones. 0. 0.00. I could use those as placeholders. Now we just add it up. So it's 6. 3, 5. That's the answer 
to um, the convince me 6.35 so you could use modeling if that would help you you could just go ahead and do it this way if that's easiest for you if you need to break it up a little bit you could you know kind of do it this way the way I showed you so there's more than one way to do this so uh, 6.35 what it's 6.35 meters long all right don't forget to um, factor that in that is what it's called I gotta turn my music down before they don't let me publish this thing here okay because um, remember if I I think you guys have experienced that or I have certainly if I'm playing some music and then it's the YouTube uh, hears it in the background they'll nix it all right number one without multiplying uh, 4 times 0.36 is 4.4 times 0.36 less or greater than 4 well this was mentioned in the last lesson listen anytime you multiply a any number let's just deal with a whole number let's say seven and if I multiply seven times something okay I'm gonna put a question mark here for the moment if that something is less than one like let's say 0.9 that's less than one then my answer is going to be less than what I started with what we're multiplying by Okay, if, my, if I'm multiplying 7 by a number that's greater than 1, let's say 1.2, that's greater than 1, then my answer is going to be larger than what I start with, which is 7. It's going to be, the answer is going to be larger than 7. Of course, and I talked to somebody about this today, anytime you multiply something by 1, it's just itself. So 7 times 1 is 7. So... Let's go back to this one. Number one, without multiplying. In other words, I don't actually have to solve this. 4 times 0.36 is 4 times 0.36 less or greater than 4. Well, is 0.36 less than 1? It sure is. It will be less than 4 because um, 0.36 is less than one anytime you multiply a number by another number that's less than one the number you start with is going to be less anytime you multiply a number and in, in this case the number we were talking about is four anytime you multiply a number four for example by a number that's greater than one, it's gonna end up being larger than four. All right. Um, so let's look at two through five really quick. Um, find the product, you can use place value blocks to help. You don't have to use place value blocks, but um, it might help some of you. Let's look at number two, for example. Number two, it's 0.8 times 4 or you could say point or 0 0.8 I mean it's the same thing well let me ask you and those of you that know your multiplication tables should know the answer to this what's 8 times 4 it's 32 okay how many places do we need to move the decimal one place so it's 3.2 so the answer to number two is 3.2. Okay. Let's look at number three. I'll do that one. Here we have 0 0.7. Or if I just put 0.7, it's going to be the same thing. So let me ask you, what's 7 times 3? That's 21. How many places do we need to move the decimal? Just one place. So... It's going to be right there so the answer is 2.1 all right all right so you guys can do four and five on your own um, let's see here it says find the product 
use place value blocks to help. You don't have to use place value blocks if they help or any other method you have, you can free to use it. So 0.55 times three. Let me do number six. I wanna make sure you guys are kind of getting this. So we have 0 0.55 times three equals something. Well, let's not even worry about the zero. Let's just put 55 times three. Let's just do that. Notice I'm not worried about where the decimal is right now. I'm not worried about that. I'm just doing 55 times three. Now, so you don't forget about it, I suppose you could put the decimal there, that's fine. But anyways, what's three times five? Well, three times five is 15, put down the five, carry the one, what's three times five again? 15 plus one is 16. Now there's that decimal. So uh, how many places over is the decimal? One, two places in that number. So I'm gonna start right here and I'm going to move it over one, two places. So the final answer for number six is going to be, uh, where's number six? Here it is. It's going to be 1.65. Make that a little bit bigger. 1.65 is the answer. All right. So I think you guys can do the rest of these on your own. I'm looking at um, eight through 19. I don't see anything that's really problematic. 15 is easy. I think we did one similar to that today. I'm looking at number 15. Number 15 is 100 times 0 0.12. Or I could just put 100 times 0 0.12. It's the same thing. Makes no difference. So anytime you multiply a number by 100, how many places are you going to move the decimal? Two places. There's two zeros. So let's do that, one, two places. So what's the answer going to be? If the decimal's behind the two now, right there, what's another way of saying that? It's 12. So I could just look at that and I know what it is. So number 15, the answer is 12, okay? All right, um, Number 20, a city is building three parks and a new subdivision. Each park will be 1.25 acres. How many total acres will the three parks be? It says use place value blocks to model the problem if you need help. Well, uh, what's it going to be? It's going to be three times 1.25. Number 21, city acquired more land next to the subdivision. If it decides to make each park one or 12.5 acres, how many additional acres would the park occupy? So, um, the city acquired more land next to the subdivision. It, uh, well, I'm not going to answer that. I don't know who's calling me. Um, let's see here. If it decides to make each park 12.5 acres, how many additional acres would the park occupy? Um... I'm not quite sure what they're asking here. Maybe I'm distracted by the phone call. A city acquired more land next to the subdivision. So I think they're making reference to the one problem above here. How many additional acres would the park occupy? So I think you're going to find the difference between the 12.5 acres and the answer to this one. I'm going to put a question mark there. That's how I'm reading it. Okay. Number 22, write a multiplication equation that matches the shading on the grid. Hmm. Well, let me help you out here. So, the shading in the red looks like 0.8. So there's 80 of those. The green looks like it's, man, I can barely see this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, also 0.8. So it's terrible eight. And the blue looks like it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, also 0.8. So I would 
So that's pretty easy. 0.8. Um, yeah. Times 3 <laughs> equals. Write a multiplication equation. So there's, it's an equation. I got the equal signs. You have to solve it. All right, 23. We're almost done here. 23. Um, Jen multiplied 9 by 0.989. Got an answer of 89.01. How can you use estimation to show that her answer is wrong? Okay. Now think about it. Jen multiplied 9, and she multiplied it by a number that's just a little bit less than 1. 0.989. So the answer is going to be a little bit less than 9, right? I mean, think about it. And, but she got an answer of 89. Holy cow, she made a mistake somewhere. All right, what mistake do you think she made? I'll let you figure that out. Okay, um, well, we're at 16 minutes already. It needs, needs five pounds of bananas to make banana bread. I love banana bread. In fact, I just made some last week. I should make some and bring it into class. For a bake sale, each pound of banana costs 50 cents. Uh, how can she use place value? Yeah, forget that one. How can I need to use what she knows about whole number multiplication to check her answer? How about estimation? I'd be more interested in that. Okay, so forget those two. So here's my question to you. Um, how much did she spend? Did she spend? Question mark. Well, five pounds times... 0.5 okay remember the answer is going to be in dollars because we're talking about money okay that's it you guys have a great weekend and uh remember the substitute uh she can give you guys you can earn up to 10 points up to 10 i think i said 10 points okay hey come on in i'm just finishing the video and um uh, that's it. I will talk to you guys later.